If you're gonna go out with friends and you wanna get really messed up, you walk up to the bartender, you slap down a hundred dollar bill and say, give me three Pelosi's, he'll know what to do. If you don't know, Nancy Pelosi is a raging, allegedly drunk who lives in the wine country area and her husband is no different. As soon as she got on her broom and went to give a speech on the East Coast, he got on his Porsche, probably had a hot young thing, might've been a man, maybe a boy, and drove to wine country as quick as he could. <whistles> Threw back a few Pelosi's and I have the Pelosi DUI caught on camera. Now I had to edit it down because it's over 20 minutes of footage. This guy couldn't even hold on to the earth if he was laying on it holding a blades of grass in each hand, okay? He is spinning out of control, he's mumbling. At one point he tells the officer, you know I'm a Pelosi. And the officer has to understand that, goes and talks to a superior officer, and they're trying to figure out how do we get out of this because putting a Pelosi in jail could mean the end of your life. Not just your political life, not just your employment. He might not make it. He might get Hillary Clinton if the Pelosi's come after him. But you watch this video footage and tell me if he looks drunk to you, and why do the Pelosi's think they're above the law? Nancy didn't wear masks. She went and got her hair cut when everything else was locked down. And now this. Yeah, it's, uh, you guys are both actually really lucky that the crash wasn't a lot more serious than it was in terms of injuries. Do you think you're physically able to balance on one foot or another? No. No one is above the law. Not even the President of the United States. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't want you to injure yourself if you can't. Um, and I, I wouldn't want you to fall over and hurt yourself. The speaker continued to avoid any questions about her husband's weekend arrest in the wine country. You can't grab onto the patrol car. Though. No one is above the law. So you could try both feet out if you want. No person is above the law in this country. Before we, I'll let you start. Uh, you can try the test with both feet. Well, I'll give you like a like a, a pre-trial run, for lack of better term. You can try it with both feet, see which one you feel more comfortable with, and then once, you, once you're ready, just let me know. Are you sure you could complete the test? Okay. Because I really don't want you to fall over and hurt yourself. That's the last thing I'm... Right, but, but that, that defeats the, the whole purpose of the test, grabbing onto a pro car. No one is above the law. Then got whisked out of the back door by her staff and security detail. She did not answer any questions about any other issues, including her husband Paul Pelosi's weekend DUI arrest in Napa County. Right. Well, just based, based on what I'm seeing, I don't feel comfortable having you perform the test because I, I don't want you to have the potential to fall over and hurt yourself. That's, that's, that's not what I'm trying to accomplish. Uh, so we'll do a different test. Um, so uh, maybe I'll say that again. No person is above the law in this country. I can't say it any more clearly than that. She also avoided reporters' questions at an earlier event in the Mission District of San Francisco. I, I, understand, I understand what you told me, but on, on my end, and I, I smell the alcohol on, on your breath. I see how unsteady you are on your feet. Um, right. No, I, I understand who you are, and I'm not. I'm not here to try to to do anything uh, to draw any negative attention to you. Um, if you've been honest with me, there's really nothing that you should be worried about in terms of the alcohol you consume. If you've been honest with me about your consumption being only two, two glasses of, of, of alcohol, there's no reason why that amount will put you at above the, the legal limit. But the way I, I think about it, right, if somebody's involved in a crash, right, imagine, imagine from a standpoint if, if um, and God forbid, one of your family members involved in a crash, and the person who caused that crash has alcohol in your system. You would you would want that person or that officer to do everything he can to make sure that that person wasn't under the influence, correct? And that's that's what I try to do with every every crash that I suspect that there might be some level of impairment. Just want to confirm that that's not the case. Well, I didn't have him. I didn't even have him do it just because. Right. Yeah, he's constantly grabbing onto the patrol car just to be able to keep his balance. Right. Uh, right. And he, I mean, he's at fault for the crash. The speaker will not be commenting on this private matter that occurred while she was on the East Coast. No comment, just a small private matter. The guy wrecked his Porsche, DUI, stumbling around, lied about having two drinks, says, you know who I am? 
Guaranteed they gave him a test. He blew a 2.8. They knocked the two off, said it was a 0.8. Just barely illegal. He's not in jail right now. The person he hit is still in medical treatment. Hopefully sues for the hundreds of millions of dollars they have stolen from the American people. And that's what happens when you drink one too many Pelosi's. Don't let it happen to you. Thank you.